In this tutorial we are going to learn how to transform this Ford Mustang into this amazing artwork. I was lucky enough to find this picture on Pexels and first time when I saw it I knew that uh, this is the right car for my artwork. First I took uh, care of uh, the car's plate and I uh, had to change the original one. So I selected the area, right click and I use content aware fill and the uh, got rid of uh, all the areas that I didn't want. After I cleaned all that area I wrote Mr. 23 on uh, the car's plates and then uh, I went and I modified the number of uh, taillights because uh, even if the Mustang looks amazing like that I wanted uh, more taillights. So I basically copied all those uh, taillights that uh, all those three taillights that uh, the Mustang has and then I uh, duplicated them move them to have eight in total and I did the same thing on the right side also I took the pen tool and selected the car from its background and now the car is ready to be imported in my artwork after I imported the car, first thing I needed a shadow underneath. So I created a new layer, set it to multiply. And then I took the brush tool and selected a really dark blue color and started to paint underneath the car. Then I made the car darker by adding a levels adjustment layer and I dragged the whites to the left. Then on the mask, I took the brush tool and the black color and because we have the lights on the top left area the moon I painted with the black color on the mask on this left area of the car I posted a full tutorial of this artwork on my patreon so if you want to learn it too please join now then I added a hue and saturation adjustment layer where I have decreased the saturation and the lightness then with the color balanced I modified the color of the car let's add the lights now so remember this method because I'm going to use it a lot and uh, it's based on linear dodge and color dodge. And also first thing create a new layer and then fill it with black. Set the blending mode to linear dodge. Let me show you why we need the blend if in this case. So I'm going to switch to the red color and I'm going to paint on the taillights with this uh, red color. Then I'm going to double click on the layer to enter the layer properties and here we have the blend if. So on the underlying layer let's uh, drag this slider so you can see that the red color will be dispersed. So I'm going to drag it all the way to 10 and then I'm going to hold the alt and drag the right slider a bit to the right. So um, now my uh, red color is uh, dispersed and looks much much better now i'm going to do the same thing i'm not going to paint on the taillights i'm going to paint the reflection on the car so with the red color i'm going to paint here where we have the reflection of uh, the taillights all right and now let's uh, brighten up this red color a bit more so i'm going to create a new layer and the same thing fill it with black but this time I'm going to use color dodge switch to the brush tool and the red color and with the red color I'm going to paint a bit on uh, the already red color that I have on the taillights and uh, this will make it glow a bit more then I'm going to do the exactly same thing and uh, create a new layer and fill it uh, with black set it to color dodge but this time I'm going to paint with the white color so uh, on the taillights here for example I'm going to paint with uh, the white color and uh, I'm going to do that to each one so uh, we don't have only the red color we should have a bit of uh, white uh, reflection then the next step is to come back to linear dodge so create a new layer fill it with black set it to linear dodge now take again the red color the brush and uh, i'm going to paint uh, inside the taillights to uh, brighten up but because um, i studied a bit the lights during the night i noticed that uh, they 
have a bit of yellow and white in them. For that I'm going to use my uh, method of uh, magic glow that I'm uh, using in a lot of tutorials. So uh, let's create a group and set this group to screen. Inside this group let's create two layers. One, two. The first one let's fill it with the black color. The second let's leave it empty. And now where the magic is happening let's create a new adjustment layer which is a gradient map. Then click on the gradient and let's change those colors. And you should modify the gradient uh, using those colors. So uh, you start from black and you finish with white. And between you'll have dark red, red, orange, light orange, yellow and light yellow and then white and then hit OK. Now if uh, we are going back to the empty layer and uh, switch to the brush tool and the white color and if we start to paint inside you will see that um, we'll have a really cool uh, yellow and also we have uh, white but this is of course too powerful so for that I'm going to switch to the black color and I'm going to paint again and this will uh, diminish that uh, really strong effect but it will help us to achieve a really nice glow. So this is uh, how it looks after I apply that uh, really cool uh, glow. And of course those taillights should have a reflection on the ground so I'm going to use the same method with the linear dodge. So create a new layer, fill it with black and uh, set it to linear dodge. Let's paint on the ground so you can see where I will have uh, that uh, red uh, color. So um, I think uh, this is uh, enough and let's double click on the layer and then hold the uh, alt and drag the right Drag the slider to the right and then hold ALT and uh, drag it uh, until you are satisfied with the result. And then if you want to have uh, more you can still paint on some other areas because the blend if is already applied. And if you want this red to be more intense you can create a new layer and uh, set this layer to overlay. And with the same the brush tool if you paint on the ground you'll see that this overlay will uh, emphasize, will make that red uh, really, really powerful. If you found any value in this video, please subscribe to my channel and browse for my other videos also because there are more than 100 amazing tutorials on my channel.